If you have a live course launch with a specific cart close date, I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer event to your sales page. I'm Glenn Allen, course creation coach, and I help online entrepreneurs overcome the overwhelm of digital marketing. Kajabi is my absolute favorite platform for marketing, selling, and designing your online course and membership sites, but it has a bit of a learning curve that can be a little frustrating at times unless you've had some time with it. I created this tutorial for my clients, but I want to share it with you. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to go to your pipeline or your sales page for your course where you want to put the countdown timer. Right now, that's going to be this guy. And I recommend you have a second Kajabi page tab open because we're going to be doing two different things that are done in different windows. So first things first, if we want to have a countdown timer, we do not select countdown timer. I know that's counterintuitive, but the truth of the matter is if you add a countdown timer, check it out. It's just a countdown timer. You can't really do anything with it. So you've got an end time and that's it. But when the time runs down, just chills there at zero. So we don't want that. So we're not going to keep this. I'm actually going to delete this section. I just want to make sure you understood. What we're going to create is one of these and I will show you how that's done. And I'm actually going to delete this one, start over. So you're going to go to add a section and you're going to create an event. Now it says, heads up, you haven't selected an event yet. Let's add that in, click on edit. Oh, you know what? I just realized we don't even need this other tab open because we can just click here and it will open a tab for us. How do you like that? So in order to get a countdown timer to redirect to a waitlist page or to just close your card or whatever you want to do, we have to create an event so that Kajabi knows what date to run the card, the close down, <laughs> what date to run the timer down to. So let's go into events. Let's add a new event and choose the date. Let's call this cart close. And then, you know, the date it's going to be. Okay. And then when does it occur? Choose the date. O'clock in the morning. Okay, great. There we go. Now I can grab this. All right. I'm going to hit apply. Cool. And all you got to do is hit save. All right. Now we don't need this at all. We can just close it, go back here. And now we've got an actual event that we can select. And there it is, automatically pops it up. You don't have to refresh the page. We change the title. And then edit all this out, choose the format, choose whether or not you want all this other stuff in here. This isn't normally checked, but you have to select show countdown timer. And if you want, if you want this page to not just zero out and, and do nothing, if you want to actually have it automatically redirect users when it's zero, when it's at zero to another page, you have to select use after countdown action and send them somewhere. You can send them to a landing page. You can send them to external URL. In fact, if you want to see a tutorial on how this is done, where you create the waitlist page and the waitlist confirmation and how to automatically tag people who have missed the deadline, but they're still interested, I actually have another video on that. And so you can check that out. I'm going to put a, a card up. You can click on the link and watch that video. Hit save. You can edit any of this out that you want. For instance, if you don't want that background in there, you can change out your background. One more thing really quick, I usually recommend that you clone this. So I like to make an extra small version of this. And then I will go back and I will go here to the ellipsis and I will duplicate it. And here's why. You want to put one near your checkout buttons and you want to put one near the top when you first introduce your offer. So you don't want to have it at the very, 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 very top of the page because that makes no sense. The top of your page should be all about explaining what the problem is and all that stuff. Because this is a short sales page, so this one goes straight to the offer and introduces the course right away. A regular full sales page will usually highlight an opportunity and then a pain point, and then eventually we'll go and introduce the actual course. So then all you gotta do is hit save and that's that. 
I hope that was helpful. If you're looking for Kajabi expert and coach who has done several DCA style launches for authors, coaches, music producers, and other online entrepreneurs, go on over to theglennallenshow.com and learn how I can help you overcome the overwhelm and make your launch a success. And while you're there, check out my free resources. Also, if you found this video helpful, would you please repay the favor and subscribe if you haven't already? And let me know what kinds of launch related content would you like to see me cover in future episodes? Thanks a lot and I'll see you online.